Okay, now that you know what is open layers, let's have a deeper understanding of it. We will head over to openlayers.org and the first thing that we see on the website is that it already has the dynamic map implemented and this is something that we will be doing. If you head over to the overview, you will see that open layers makes it easy to put dynamic map in any web page, which is very true. I've been using open layers for quite some years and uh, it's been an impressive JavaScript library. The main thing that we want to have a look at is this. It is completely free. That means you can use it in any sort of project and you don't have to pay anyone any fees or you don't have to buy any license or stuff like that. If you use the competitors of open layers, for example, Google Maps, JavaScript library or even Mapbox, usually the JavaScript library is free to use, but the key attached to it is something that you have to pay for. Although Google Maps, Bing Maps, even Mapbox, they all come with a generous free tire uh, limit. But yeah, once you have exhausted that limit, then you have to pay for it. But there's no such hassle in the open layers. It is entirely free. Next big thing that we have to look for is this. It can display map tiles, vector data, markers loaded from any source, which is very important. You can load your data from third party middlewares like GeoServer. You can directly connect your database with the open layers or even you can use the physical file that we are going to do in this lecture or even you can create your own data on the fly inside open layers application. This is really strong. All right. The latest version of open layers is open layers version six by the time I'm recording this course and it is useful in JavaScript ES5 where we have to do a lot of this NPM installations and stuff like that. But since this course is focused on vanilla JavaScript, we will be using the older version of open layers, which is version 4.6. Scroll down to the website and have a look at this 4.6.5 version. Open the API and example document in two separate tabs. And I will highly recommend you guys to bookmark these tabs because we will be referring to both of these tabs a lot. All right. Now to end this lecture, what we will be doing is we'll be loading a very basic, simple open layers map on our HTML page. I will head over to the terminal to create a new folder. So I will be creating a folder on my desktop mkdir oil skill cd basic map cd and now i will be creating an index.html file finally i will open it in my code editor i will be using vs code but feel free to use any code editor that you want you can even use Notepad++, Atom or anything like that. Now uh, we have the index.html file and I will create two more files, main.js and style.css. The reason why I am using VS Code is that it comes with a lot of these extensions that you can download from the store. One of the most important extensions that we'll be using is this go live function which helps us to uh, treat this application as a live application and then whatever changes that we make in the website, those are directly applied to the live website and then it is very easy to keep working and then testing at the same time. I will create a basic web application, let's say load map, where I will first attach my CSS and JavaScript, so custom CSS. and then custom JS. Now we will start with loading the mapping application. I can easily just write everything down, but I want to show you a way that you actually will do as a, as a software developer. We have to be very smart. Instead of writing everything, we will look if we can copy it from somewhere and that is where the example tabs of open layers comes in handy open layers example 
uh, page has a lot of these examples which I refer to every time when I am creating courses. Let's just head over to a very basic example of this accessible map. If I click on it, you will see that in this example, we have loaded a map and then we also have this zoom in zoom out button. Honestly, we don't care about these buttons right now. All we care about this map. If you scroll down, you will see the code to generate this map is already given. Now we will try to understand the different parts of this code. In the head tag, you can see that we have a link to the ol.css, ol.js file and then a polyfill for the older browsers like Internet Explorer. So I will simply copy this and I will put it in our code. Open layers, CDN. Later, when we will actually create more complex applications, instead of referring to CDN all the time, we will be downloading these files and then we will be using it. All right, now that the CDN is done, let's head over to the example page again and see what we are doing. So the styling part is there. And then inside body, we have the div. Now this div is where our map will be generated by open layers, uh, JavaScript functions. Every time when we want to create a map, we have to have this div uh, with some ID that we can refer to in order to create the map. So I will simply copy this div. I will paste it in my body map div. And now I will use the class of map to define the style properties for this div. So for example, I will create a map with width of let's say 100 VW. That means it will be spread across the width and then the height will be let's say 500 pixels. It is very important for us to give the width and height property so that the map can be uh, created for that given properties. Now that the ID is there, finally in the script, we will create this variable of map with, an, uh, with a property of new ol.map. This basically initiates the mapping inside our uh, application. I will simply copy it. Don't worry about what is written inside it for now. We will have a look at it in greater depth in upcoming videos and I will simply paste it in my main.js. So map in it. All right. The target map represents the ID of the div that we are giving. So if I change it to map one, I will simply copy it and I will paste it here. Okay. We got the CDN, we got the style, we got the div and finally we also got the main.js. Now it should work perfectly fine. I will simply go live. And there we go. We finally have a dynamic open layers map on our website and whenever we load the map, we get some controls which are turned on by default. So for example, zoom in, zoom out. They are already visible to us, but if you want to hide them, you can also do that. And also you have the attribution where you can see that what map we are loading. So for example, this is an open street map, but if you want to write any other text inside this, you can also do that. Open layers is very robust and very dynamic application. We can change a lot of things inside it. So there we go. We have the basic web map on our basic HTML page. In the next video, we will have a greater understanding of this map object and we will try to understand what things are necessary, what things are optional while creating the map. Thank you.